Good morning, good morning, Dr. Data. First of all, thank you so much for having me, and I want to express my appreciation for the opportunity to present my graduate research project today and my graduate, graduate for being here. So I um, just want to double check. Uh, anybody see my screen? Yes, yes. Screen is clear. Okay, so the primary emphasis of my presentation is on consumer behavior. And uh, the title is an investigation of the factors associated with consumer behavior arrival check-in and check-out process, case study Marriott International ENC in the UK. So um, the research is investigating various influential factors what can affect the consumer during the check-in and check-out. And the study used qualitative and quantitative methods such as observation and interviews to test hip hypotheses and validate research findings. Through this uh, research, uh, I found five key, five key factors were identified that have an impact on consumer behavior. And it was concluded that by incorporating positive service components, businesses can enhance consumer loyalty and improve overall experiences. So um, we live in a consumer-centric age, providing pos uh, positive consumer experience from the side of the business is essential. Identifying where can influence the consumer, the consumer journey map can have depict various touch points. The consumer journey concept concentrates on the individual's action while trying to understand and from the unfold customer experiences. Accordingly, understanding the consumer's needs by studying their behavior is essential to implement the strategy of the business. Consumer behavior is depending on multiple variables, such as motivation, attribute, and attitudes that affect the purchasing decision of customers. Consumer behavior can be defined simply as a series of activities that people do through their everyday life. Aims and objectives of the research is investigate various influential factors that impact on the behavior of consumers. And um, the main aim is to determine the influential factors of consumer behavior after arrival, check-in and during the check-out. Another objective is to study the possible issues that relate to consumer behavior from the point of arrival, check-in and check-out, and to specify those factors that contribute to a positive outcome of the ultimate vacation experiences. Consumer behavior is a process. It is more than having a product or service in return from payment rather than continuous, continuing process which comprises various stages. We can call it buying procedure, buying process. <clears throat> However, there is no universal rule on how many stages of the buying process. According to Kotler et al., the process of buying is beginning before the actual purchase and can it break down to five stages, need recognition, information search, a violation of alternatives, purchase decision, and post-purchase. Solomon described the buying behavior process as three-phase method, which is includes the pre-purchase, purchase, and post-purchase stages. However, according to Swarbrook and Horner, the consumer purchase decision process in the hospitality business is more complex because the customer, the individual, is buying uh, overall experience, not just a specific product, Therefore, the purchase are anticipation before the trip, consumption during the trip, and recollection of memory, uh, memories after the trip. Consumer anticipation, I would highlight this is a cognitive process through which individuals evaluate the expected physical, experiential, social, emotional, or behavioral outcomes that will result from the consumption decision or experience that has yet to occur. And, uh, Let's go forward to the possible influential can, factors. Can you move your PowerPoint? We can't see that it's moving. It's frozen. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, so I, at the moment, I'm talking oh, about the service. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, doctor. Sorry. So I start <laughs> consumer behavior, buying process, consumer anticipation, oh, and now fine. the service. Yes. Um, so the service from the border yeah. perspective, the service itself can be an influential factor that affect consumer behavior. The check-in and check-out. Uh, procedure are key touch points within the service process. So in order to define the service, it is critical to separate it from the goods. The most essential characteristic that separate, that separate service from goods is intangibility, inseparability, heterogeneity, perishability, and the ownership. So the service process occurs between the consumer and the service provider. And uh, because the consumer has to be actively involved in the service for it to be realized, it can identify that consumer can be influenced indeed by the service within the process of service. And the next uh, factor, 
it can be the first impression. I'm just put some silly picture on the on the <clears throat> um, from myself because if you saw this picture in the first time, you start forming an opinion from myself. And this is very indeed very important, the first impression, because can be defined as an early judgment of an individual based on the initial sense. The formation of first impression happens naturally from perception originating from, a, from human sensory processing. And if the first impression is triggered by a negative event, consequently, individuals have the feeling of negative first impression that can be consistently in the individual's mind. And even if the conditions suggest contradicting evidence, still they not really happy with the outcomes. And uh, that negative, the first impression can be triggered by facial expression, body language, and tone of voice. I would highlight the facial expression because it's find really interesting academics based on um, Matsumoto at all. There are seven basic emotions that can express through facial expression, such as joy, surprise, contact, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear that have universal understanding. Also, Wang et al. mentioned a significant number of research indicate that smiles are influential social factors that affect positively interpersonal perception in many forms. Therefore, the smile has been used as a tool of marketing. Body language, one Edwards emphasized, the individuals are more att attractive to the winners and everybody wants to be in the same team. Therefore, concentrating on the display posture by standing straight and by shoulder back can create impression of confidence. In the same, from the tone of voice, Matsumoto Atawar highlighted, most of us are familiar with the saying, it's not what you say, but how you say it. The unspoken components that come together with verbal expression, such a tone of voice, are just as crucial as the spoken word themselves and in combining significance to speeches. And another factor can be the waiting time. Um, waiting time, is actually what the individual not really planning uh, during their visit. Lee, 2010, the duration of the waiting time generally negatively impact the level of satisfaction of tourists. And uh, another factor what I found crucial to mention, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is a component of store image that crafted using a mixture of sensory elements and aimed to generating a particular shopping atmosphere. The atmosphere and these critical elements can be the ambient factor, such as sound, light, scent, and temperature, or the social factor, what can be mentioned, the employee personality as a social factor that, that can influence the atmosphere and beyond. According to Rogers and Glendon, there is a well-studied and frequently employed approach to comprehending and classifying variations in personality, which is the five-factor model. The five factors of personality are usually referred to the agreeableness, extraversion, consciousness, neuroticism, and openness to experiences. And the last one, design factor, Kilburn highlighted, regardless of the team style and target audience of the hotel, the bell design loop is smoothly functional space that often considered the most important fact and use component of the hotel facilities. So the research method, following the inductive approach using both qualitative and quantitative methods to achieve research objectives. Primary data complete uh, collected through complete observation and semi structured interviews. The secondary data, it's gained from the Marriott um, International, International MGS global system and the sampling, non probability purpose sampling. And I choose 50 individuals for the observation, two individuals in depth interviews, and the customer feedback overview between 2022 and 2023. And the Findings just before I start to uh, interpret the findings, I would quickly mention how it happened. Uh, observation: so 50 individuals were observed during the arrival and checkout process as a part of the study. Uh, the observation period lasted every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and continued until the 50 individuals has been observed. As a part of the study, every time a guest arrived at the hotel courtyard, the doorman was required to greet the guest with a broad smile and deep resonance voice and offering assistance with their luggage. At the time of the research, there were more leisure travelers than business 
And uh, it was surprising the smile response rate was considerably significantly positive with a 90% of positive response. Generally, the average check-in time, it was 10 minutes. The average check-out time, check time was less it, with a three minutes. And as I said, the smile response rate was 90%. Um, the interview was conducted with the front desk manager and the head concierge. Um, the reason of the select this interview is it because their position and management affect the day-to-day -day operation. And the first influence of factor mentioned by the front desk manager, it was the location, while the head concierge mentioned the first impression first. However, based on the analysis of the interviews, it can be identified from the perspectives of the hotel management that the most mentioned three influential factors are the atmosphere of the hotel, consideration of the guest feedback, and the service itself. Uh, three minutes left, just three minutes. Yes, sir. And the slide is, uh, the next slide is the secondary data is collected from the MGS system. Um, it's, uh, it's gained from the customer feedbacks. The guest uh, can rate the hotel at various attributes on the scale one to 10. And the correlation analysis is highlighted in the reflection of the five variables, such as intent to recommend, staff service, design and decor, Marriott hotel trusted quality experience, and elite appreciation, which is found positive and statically essential connection between these variables. This research highlighted the strongest possible scenario broke down individually for every single factor as seen on my slide. And the discussion I find very important in each, from the angle of the research, the first impression is can classified as a dependent factor because it can be um, negative or positive. Uh, the in, in the reflection of the smile, um, it's a critical posit positive inflector factor. And uh, the staff uh, classified as a bipolar uh, factor because the research believes the employee as a human being has the ability to make a certain decision that can trigger positive or negative outcomes from the beginning to the end of the research uh, and on the, on the service. And the service itself considered dependent factors and the waiting time, it was definitely a negative interactor factor because that was mentioned many times from the customer feedbacks. And the limitation as the research, the research is conducted outside the peak season. So resulting in low hotel occupancy and shorter waiting time for guests. The relationship between employees and personality, the consumer behavior didn't investigate it. Um, and for closing remarks, important practical implication for organizations looking to improve consumer satisfaction, the study highlights the importance of considering service delivery as an influential factor that is dependent on variables such as staff participation. And the result indicates that the smile is an essential influential factor that can trigger positive consumer behavior, while the waiting time is the most mentioned negative factor in the relation of the process of check-in and check-out. And thank you so much for your attention. Yeah.